still standing better than I ever did. Looking like a true survivor. Feeling like a little kid. Are you still using Zamp or WAMP to create your WordPress test sites? Not only is it miserably slow, but creating and managing multiple different websites with it can be quite infuriating. You must manually install WordPress and the database, and if you run into any issues, good luck. Well, I do have some good news. All this painful process has now been simplified to the click of a few buttons. So WordPress has recently released WordPress Studio, a local site creation and management tool. So using this tool, you can not only create multiple different test sites with the click of a few buttons, but you can also share those sites with your clients or your friends temporarily within WordPress.com. And yes, I do know that this is not a new thing. Local site creation and management tools have been around for a while. But what makes Studio unique? Well, first things first, it's being developed by WordPress and you get to host five of those sites temporarily within WordPress.com. You know, that eases quite a lot of things. There's so much to unpack, so we'll check all that out in this video from installation to creating a site and then sharing that site on WordPress.com. I'll show you all that. So let's jump right into it. All right, so first things first, let's get started with the installation of WordPress Studio. If you just simply type in WordPress Studio on your browser, you should be able to find the site right here. So this is the WordPress developer site. You can go right here. You can download for Windows or for Mac. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to download it right there. All right, there you go. The file has been downloaded. Simply open the file. It's an executable, so it's going to install the application on your PC. When you're installing this application, you'll have a pop-up where it says Microsoft's inbuilt antivirus can cause issues. So I think you'll have to add it to your exceptions or something. So yeah, that's an important step. Make sure you do that. So there you go. You don't have to do much. As soon as you run the executable, you know, you have one startup window and then you get this right here. So now you can simply go about creating a site. This is going to be the path for my site. You can change yours. I'm simply going to add it. All right, so I've made it full screen. You can see right here, this is the site. I really love the UI. So let's get started with everything there is to unpack. The first things first, as soon as you add your first site, you'll have this. You can add multiple more sites as well. You know, you can add another site. And when you do add another sites, they're all going to show up right here there you go multiple different sites you can easily manage them if you want to delete a site you know you can go into settings you can delete it as well pretty simple stuff right so let's first i guess just access this site and let me show you what it looks like so right here you can click on open site and you can access the wp admin as well so i'll just access the wp admin and voila there it is the site is ready and one thing to keep in mind wp studio uses sqlite so if this is an issue for you i think you know they have their developer docs right here you can go check it out there might be ways to change it so there you go that's that all right so coming back to our dashboard right here you have a quick overview section you know you can open up your site edit your styles menu your patterns menu you can open your terminal or your file explorer all in one place and we'll get back to the share tab in just a minute all right so now let's get into settings you know here you can edit your site name your local url you can see it right there your local path etc all the important information you can find it right here now one thing to keep in mind wordpress studio only uses local host unlike you know your local wp where there's an option for site domains as well site domains is basically like virtual hosting where you can use https so yes that is the only difference here in the settings tab that you'll find but since wordpress studio is so new i'm assuming site domains will be available in the future and honestly there is not much this is a very simple application to use you know you just simply create your sites and whatever you need to do you do it within your site right you don't have to do much hassle here now comes the part of sharing the website which i think is something that a lot of people are looking forward to since you can actually create five demo sites which you can check right here and yes for the sharing functionality to work you'll have to log in with your wordpress.com account and you can add up to five demo sites which will be deleted after seven days i think seven days is plenty of time to you know maybe send out your designs to your clients so yes pretty easy stuff you don't have to you know export that thing and then put it into a hosting of yours it'll simply be hosted within wordpress.com making it easy to share your test sites so yeah to add a demo site first things first make sure you're logged in with your wordpress account as soon as that is done suppose i want to push this site live and i want to share this site with my client suppose i'm working on a client's project then simply i'll go and share and then i'll add a demo site as you can see right here we're creating your demo site this might take just a little bit of time and also so one thing I almost forgot, you can push your updates to your demo site at any time. So within the seven days period, if you're actively working on this test site and you want to push the updates that you make locally live, then you can do that as well. There you go. Finally, it's done. Update the demo site. Okay, so this button right here is the button that I was talking about. Basically, you click on this button and then this will update the demo site. Basically, it'll push whatever updates you've made locally live. So that's about it. So yeah, this right here is the link to our site. So I'm going to copy this and there you go. This site is actually being hosted by WordPress press temporarily only for seven days but you know it's being hosted and you can share this so 
this is pretty cool stuff. And if you want to delete this demo site, you can. Again, you can only add like five demo sites. And if you have any other issues, then they have a really lovely documentation. I was reading this documentation. It's lovely. It's very in-depth. And I recommend you go through this doc if you're having any sort of issues, if you have any other confusions. So yes, as I was talking about the SQLite database, you know, they have everything related to it here as well. How can you use Studio with the MySQL server of my choice? There's a lot of stuff. So let me know down in the comments below if you guys will be switching all your test sites to WordPress Studio or you'll still be using WAMP, Zab or some other test management tools like local. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below.